The planting of aubergine plants in greenhouses is carried out with seedlings taken from seed beds. Transplanting into permanent soil takes place 45 to 50 days after the seeds are sown in seed beds and once the plant has four to six well-established leaves and has grown to a height of between 10 to 12 centimeters. In order for transplanting to take place, holes are made in the soil and once the root ball is placed into the hole, it is covered and watered so the plant takes a firm foothold with regard to the root taking process. The setting for planting is established depending upon the requirements of the variety of aubergine being cultivated, the system of cultivation being employed, the crop cycle and the number of stems to be left for the proper formation of plant shoots. Once the plant has taken root and up to the beginning of fruit formation, the irrigation points should be situated as far away as possible. This is so that the root system might be encouraged to permeate deeply into the soil, therefore ensuring that vegetative growth does not take place too quickly. If the contrary were to occur, the ensuing lush foliage may well cause difficulties with relation to flowering and the fertilization of the flowers. At approximately the 40 to 50 day stage after transplanting, pruning for the proper formation of plant shoots takes place and due to this, the number of shoots that the plant will develop is deliberately limited to two, three or four. Staking and tying the plants will maintain them in an upright position it will also improve general aeration of the plants and will make it easier to take advantage of sunlight and to undertake all of the care necessary with relation to crop production. Consists in removing those leaves which can be found situated under the cross, such as senescent leaves. In this way, both aeration and an improvement in fruit colour will be facilitated. It is also necessary to carry out a thinning out of the fruit. This will ensure the elimination of any fruit which may have been damaged or deformed due to plagues or disease. Normally, the first inflorescence will appear at the cross of the plant approximately 20 to 30 days after transplanting has taken place. In order to improve the pollinization of the flowers, beehives of Bombus terrestris are placed inside the greenhouse. After the fertilization of the flower has taken place, the ovary will begin to develop and will turn into a fruit. From this moment onwards, the water requirements of the plant will increase. Therefore, watering must be adjusted in accordance to the specific needs of the plant and depending upon its rate of evapotranspiration. With regard to nutrition, it is important to take care with regard to the amount of nitrogen fertilizer used in order to prevent excessive vegetative growth. White fly and thrips are among the main plagues that are found to adversely affect the aubergine plant. In order to biologically control these plagues, the release of auxiliary fauna is undertaken. The most commonly practiced method being the use of Amblyseus swirsky and Nestidiochris tenuis. Depending upon both crop and temperature, the growth period from flowering to harvest will range from 10 to 40 days. Fruit picking should be carried out while the fruit has still not reached physiological maturity as the presence of seeds within the fruit will make their taste bitter. The fruit should be cut in the morning and if possible they should be exempt from any humidity or wetness. Pruning shears should be used in order to avoid any tearing of the fruit and so that at least one centimetre of the stalk remains.